Here's more modern ingenuity based on the evocative past. Original composite jewelry, up to the minute, but fashioned out of African and Asian antiquities, each truly a work of original and delicate art. In Turkey, Morocco, China, Irena Corwin has studied jewellery through the ages and in the bazaars has bought the raw materials with which she composes her modern adornments. Silver beads from India, gold from Ghana, jade from China, elegance from epochs that have passed, all to be regrouped and realigned. This is creation with the decor of yesteryear as the building bricks of today's adornments. This is ingenuity elevated to the status of fine art. She's not just juggling with ancient beads. Irena Corwin is making something original. She's an architect with the gems and precious metal shapes of history built into the graceful concepts of today. You might buy a piece of Irena Corwin's work for 30 pounds, or you might have to pay 300. It's accepted that she's an artist, and without precedence, a famous London picture gallery broke with all their tradition to give a showing to Irena Corwin's jewellery art. See how the exotic moods of faraway, faded eras come to pulsating life in creations that are as much for tomorrow as for today. Irena says, I love decorating women. I may take Victorian adornments sometime and build them into something that can live today. As a child, she says she was given stones and jewels to play with instead of conventional toys, and she plays with them still. A suburban housewife turns flowers into sculptural loveliness. An engineer creates an old world water clock out of antiquity. A girl who played with stones makes modern magic out of the discarded baubles of times gone by. In this there's a challenge for anyone who has any sort of ingenuity.